Hello to all my beautiful viewers out there. Today I'm going to be going over the Montclair and Palm Angels collaboration. So unfortunately because of exams and various other things, I was unable to go over the collection when it actually debuted. So I thought now, as a bit of a recap, I thought I'd drip, flip or skip on all the items that came out in the capsule and give you my thoughts and opinions on the actual capsule itself. Okay, so if you don't know what drip, flip or skip is, the idea is that I'll go through each of the pieces in the collection and I'll give it a rating of a drip, flip or skip. Drip, meaning I'd buy it where I'd love it. Flip meaning I'd buy it, maybe wear it, maybe sell it off to someone else because I'm keen on it but not keen enough to wear it. So it's kind of like a middle ground. And skip is just a straight up no. So if I don't like it, I will skip it because I can't see myself wearing it. Can't see the reason in buying it. It's just, yeah, a skip. Now I'm going to go over just like a brief overview of what the brands Montclair and Palm Angels are. So, Montclair is a lifestyle and apparel brand, mainly known for its down jackets and sportswear. It was founded in 1952, and it is the shortened uh, abbreviation of a French alpine town, which I'm not going to pronounce because I don't want to butcher it. <laughs> so, originally, Palm Angels was a LA-based skate brand which over the years has now grown into more of a lifestyle apparel brand, much like Montclair is. And that is probably why they're collaborating today, because they've both grown into that same category, so it works really well. And today, as I said, I'll be doing a drip, flip or skip on all the pieces that they released in the collection. So first up, we've got the down jacket, labelled as Tim. I suppose that's the nickname for the jacket itself. Uh, absolutely amazing the colors on this are insane they come in two colors it comes in purple and black i would absolutely go for either if i had to drip or flip or skip on them i'd probably maybe flip the pink one i would potentially wear the pink one though that's the thing if i got it i would wear the pink one but the black one i think that's more me I would drip on the black one though. The black one is insane. I absolutely love the black one. Love the pink one as well, but if I had to choose one or the other, I would rather go drip on the black and flip on the pink one. But let me know guys, what do you think of it? Because I think this is pretty crazy. I absolutely love the look of this jacket. If it wasn't so much money, I'd probably end up getting one to be honest. But let me know. Product number two. So, white sweatshirt. Palm Angels graffiti written on the front with a little graphic above it. Logo on the arm. Mind control written on the back. Love white hoodies. I like that the um, arms look like they've been disconnected and sewn back together. So the actual chest piece, I think that's really, really cool. Really like the hoodie or the hood itself. I think that's really, really nice. I would probably drip on this. Honestly, it's a really nice, simple piece. It screams Palm Angels more than Montclair on the front, mainly because of the artwork. Really like it though. Absolutely love this piece. I think it looks absolutely sick. Definitely going to drip on this one. Up next, we've got the third item in the collection, which is the down jacket missing the sleeves, nicknamed Exxon, I think it is. Absolutely love this piece. The color, really vibrant. The silver is super, super in your face. And I really love the hood. Uh, not when it's done up. I prefer when it's undone and it's like super super thick like it looks really really warm It looks like an awesome piece to definitely get. I don't know I'm not a huge fan of down jackets missing the sleeves. It looks kind of weird, but with how it's debuted in uh, The collection with the actual models. I think it's really cool. I would probably I probably I probably flip it Honestly, as much as the praise that I was giving it, I do really like it, but I can't see myself wearing it, mainly because of the sleeves. If it had the sleeves, it might be a drip, but it looks like a flip to me. Let me know what you guys think, though. I personally, yeah, I think it's a flip. Really nice piece, though. Not really for me, though. I'm still on the black uh, down jacket with also the arms still attached. I think that's more me, but... Yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Is this you, or do you prefer the one with the sleeves? Let me know. Okay, up next, we've got the t-shirt with the same graphics on the white hoodie that I showed earlier. Really nice shirts. Personally, I don't like splashing a lot out for shirts, um, mainly because they're, they get worn heaps, they tear pretty easily compared to like hoodies and 
sweatshirts and stuff like that. The fit of the actual shirts, though, both black and white, they're, the two colours are awesome, but the fit, it's a really nice fit. The artwork is awesome. I'd probably drip it if it wasn't for the price. So the price is causing me to flip it, honestly. But, yeah, it's a really nice fit. If shirts fitted more like these, I would definitely be dripping more of those shirts. Because these, the fit, as shown on the models, works really, really well. And it's really awesome because this whole collection is unisex. So the fit works really well with both men and women. And they had that displayed on the uh, models. And it works with both. It's so sick. Absolutely love the idea of it. And yeah, I would probably, yeah, I'm going to flip on both the white and the black. To be honest, both shirts, yeah. You got me here. You got me here, Palm Angels and Montclair. I really, I'm not a huge fan of zip-up hoodies. I've said it before on the channel and I'll say it again. Zip-up hoodies, they're pretty much a skip for me almost every single time. But this one's different. And it's mainly the little difference that has probably got me to say it's a drip. And I'll explain why. All black, awesome. Color isn't an issue. The branding on both the left and right breast, awesome. It's both brands, that's cool. But it's the fishtail waist area, <laughs> I'll put it. Um, really, really cool. I love it that it has an area where it stops at the waist. And then at the back, it still continues down. I think that's awesome. I think that's an awesome fit. Um, zipped up or unzipped. I think it's awesome. The actual hood itself, and I know this is such a weird nitpicky thing, but the hoods of a hoodie or hooded sweatshirt can really determine if I'm going to drip, flip, or skip it. And in this case, the hood is absolutely sick on this one. So for once, and probably one of the very few times, I'm going to say that this zip-up is a drip. I'm going to say it's a drip. It looks really, really nice, and... I'd probably want one. If <laughs> if I can get one at some point, I'd be really happy with that. Now, just like before, we have the XN uh, down jacket without the sleeves. Blue this time, online exclusive only. <sighs> the blue's really nice. I do really like the blue. Hmm. If I were... if Okay. <laughs> In the ideal world, if I have thousands and thousands of dollars, if I got the Montclair down jacket, this blue one, with the Montclair white hoodie underneath. So, big drip on that. I'll drip on that. By itself, with my white hoodies that I have, I reckon I could still pull it off. Yeah, I might give the blue one a drip. The blue one's a drip for me. I like this. This is cool. Ugh, they've sold me. They've done it. They've made, they've made one of the best pieces. Bomber jacket, all black, cuffed sleeves, and a collar that makes it look like a button-up shirt. That is sick. And with the little dangly strings just near where the button-up starts at the bottom. Love it. The fit on it as well, on the models particularly, I think it's sick. I'm kind of a bit iffy about the purple stripes down it, down the sides and I think down the back as well. Um, that kind of... It's, it makes it a little bit iffy for me because it makes me feel like I'm wearing an Adidas tracksuit, which is definitely something I don't ever want to do. Um, yeah, I'd say it's still a drip. Even with the stripes, I hope the stripes in person aren't like super vibrant, but like this is really sick. I absolutely love this bomber jacket. I have not seen it being done before. So I think that's a really good step in a really good direction. I really like this bomber jacket. I'm going to give it a big drip, guys. Give it a big drip. Now, these are the matching casual pants for the bomber jacket. And that's what made me kind of like iffy about the bomber jacket. Because I was like, is this like an Adidas situation where we're going to have the pants, the shoes, and the jacket, and potentially even the hat? Not about that. That isn't me. Um, the pants are probably going to be a miss. I like the idea that they're cuffed at the bottom, but they have elastic bands at the bottom. So you can, you know, like any other kind of down jacket kind of thing where you can pull on the string, pull down the tightening mechanism. You can do that for the um, for the cuffs down near your ankles. So you can have it, you know, really flary, really wide, or you can have it really tight. I like that. That's a cool idea. I would probably flip these. Honestly, I'd flip. They're not a skip because of the cool design that they've got there. I would say that's a flip. I reckon someone would want them. If I managed to get a pair, I'd probably sell them. Woo! We got a down jacket called the Paul L or the Paul. 
I don't know how to pronounce it. Insane artwork across it. Looks like it's got a bunch of skaters. Got a lot of, you know, street art, stuff like that. Really screams Palm Angels more than Montclair, or at least Palm Angels Origins in the skating scene. Really like it. The hood is detachable, which I assume is the case for all of these down jackets. Uh, one color, multicolor. <laughs> um, I really like this. I think this is sick. I would probably even consider detaching the hood and just having it as is. I wouldn't zip it up. I would have it unzipped. Probably like a white tee or something underneath or a white hoodie. Um, yeah, no, this is really sick. I really like this one. This is an awesome one. And it's got Palm Angels written all over it in different fonts everywhere. This is sick. I love the colors of this. This is awesome. This is a big drip for me. Big drip. Ah, uh, this one's so good. This Palm Angels one. With the artwork on the front, we've got a female spray painting Palm Angels over the top of a model. So really, you know, punk, counterculture references there, against the system. Really like it being displayed on a shirt. I know I said I wasn't a huge one for shirts. And if this was on a hoodie, I would love it more. But the idea of having it on a shirt is really sick. I do really like it on a shirt. So I'm probably going to drip this one. Going to go against what I said about shirts. This one's a drip because of the artwork. It's also got Mind Control written on the back. So it's all about that, you know, against the system, punk, counterculture, etc, etc. That's sick. I really like this one. This one's definitely a drip for me as well. I'm dripping so much of this collection. <laughs> if only I had the racks to spend it, right? If I could buy this shirt or the collection. So many awesome pieces from it, guys. Love this shirt. Big drip. So we've got our first accessory now. First accessory. So we've got the travel bag. It's cool. I like it. The colors are very vibrant. Kind of throws it off a little bit. But it's not too colourful. Well, it is very colourful. That's not what's off-putting about it. It's colourful and it doesn't have an ugly design on it. If it was colourful and had an ugly design, complete skip on that one. But it's colourful and has a nice design across it, um, across the whole bag. The addition of a bag tag on the side of it, sick. Love it. I would probably say this is going to be a flip. I would like to have it for myself, but I don't think I would use it too much if I did actually have it. I say that because I don't have it. If I have it, if I had it, I probably would use it a lot. But yeah, no, nah, um, it's a flip. I resell it. I'd sell it to a mate. I'd sell it to someone online. I'd probably do that. Yeah. This is probably my favorite piece out of the whole collection. This is the, if I couldn't have any of the collection, if I was never allowed to have any of the collection, but I was allowed to have one piece, it'd be this. This would be the piece. It's a bomber jacket, which I'm a big sucker for. Absolutely love my bombers with the Montclair logo on the back. So it's basically a Montclair jacket until the counterculture vibes, the punk vibes, the skater vibes of Palm Angels comes in, spray paint their brand over the top of the Montclair brand on the back. And it's, um, how do I put it? It moves in the light. As you walk around the red, it like, it vibrantly appeals and comes out of the jacket as you move into different light sources. I know that's kind of a, I'm so bad at explaining it, I'm sorry, but essentially it looks really nice far away, but as soon as you get into like a street light or something like that, um, the red shines and glimmers. It is awesome. It is like the best bobber jacket I've ever seen. I would love to cop this one. This is amazing. Um, biggest drip. <laughs> Out of the whole collection, biggest drip. This is absolutely sick. And it's unisex, so I could see a dude wearing this. I could see a girl wearing this. It looks sick. Would I would love this piece. Whoever's got one, send one my way, please. Because this is just insane. Wow. Biggest drip, guys. Okay. Beanie. Labeled as hat. <laughs> um, on the collection. <sighs> Colours work really well for the collection. Purple and black seems to be the colour option of the collection this time around. Um, the fit is kind of cool. So essentially what happens is the beanie comes down. Actually, I've got a beanie here. I use this, um, this party in the paddock beanie I've got here to try and like explain what's going on. So you chuck it on, right? And down till about here, oh, let me try and get my hands nice and here. Down to about here is where the beanie stops, and then it cuts out this section where the party in the paddock logo is <laughs> here, <laughs> and then your fringe and stuff would come through. I know that some of the models and some of the other photos of the other pieces have that. 
I think that's a sick idea. I really, really like this. But the colour is a bit of a no for me. If it was like solid black or solid purple, I'd be more on, you know, dripping it. I think this is a skip for me. I think this is the first skip of the collection. I like the silhouettes. I like how it looks, but I don't like the colour. And that's a big thing for me. If it looks hideous with the colour, I can't wear it. So, it's a skip for me on this one, unfortunately. Sorry. So, we're back to the shirt gang. We're back to this. Okay, so... We've got the same design that we have on the bomber, but on a long sleeve shirt. Personally, I would really like this to be a crew neck. If this was a crew neck sweater, this would be my second favorite piece. But because it's the shirt, it's kind of a miss for me. I would probably flip it, but I absolutely love the design. The design of this, ah, oh, so, so good. If I had thousands of dollars, I would buy the bomber jacket. Sorry, I'm just stuck up on the bomber jacket. The shirt's really cool. I'm going to get rid of the bomber jacket out of my head. Shirt. Awesome. Love it. Flip. Flip for me on this one. Okay. I'm, make, I'm gonna have to go back on what I'm saying on my ideas of shirts, because these shirts are really, really sick, honestly. So, uh, black and white are the two colours that we get in this one. We've got a rectangular box on the front, filled with street culture, skating culture images on it. And, this is the part that really sells it to me. The little box dedicated to the hello my name is like you'd be working at a shopping mall or something like that i think that would be sick i would absolutely love to own it and i would love to have both the directors of both you know moncler and palm angels have their signatures in that oh that'd be the dream having a shirt with both of them like signed in that little box there that would be sick <laughs> if you're watching out there send your boy one <laughs> <laughs> but like, oh, yeah, I think this is a drip. This is a drip for me. It is a super duper drip if that happened, if they both signed it in that little box. So that would be done. I would display that on the wall. Goodbye, Sopranos and Game of Thrones posters. Incoming poster with the shirt in it. Like, ah, uh, that would be sick. Anyway, back to it. Drip on the white. Probably skip on the black. I think it looks better in white. I think I'm going to go drip white, skip black. Um, yeah, I think that's really, really cool as a white shirt. Not so much as a black one. So, yeah. Yo. <laughs> these boys, the printed pants. These boys, a little bit little bit crazy. A little bit wild. I mean, they're cool. I like, I like them more than the tracksuit kind of pants that I was looking at before. They were kind of... They were a skip. I remember them being a skip. These, though, with the print all over them. I could see myself wearing these. I could see myself wearing them. You know? Like, maybe we'll just some, just like, Air Forces, all white Air Forces, white, you know, maybe the white hoodie that they have for sale, or one of the white shirts. If I had that shirt that I was just talking about, and then these pants, mm, that could be good. That could be good. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to say I'm going to drip on these pants. I didn't think I would actually say drip on these pants, but I'm going to say it, yeah. It's a drip. Now, this one's a little bit different. This is the Palm Angels Montclair down jacket missing the sleeves, all black, with the Montclair logo on the back with studs on it. So it's a studded logo one. It's got um it's got Palm Angels written on the bottom, I think, of it. And yeah, the studded logo on the back. Really punk. It's really fitting that um that punk movement in the eighties, you know? The eighties punk movement. I'm probably going to say it's a drip. I really like this one. This one's a good one, personally. Yeah. It, yeah, I, I can't see myself skipping it. I can't see myself selling it off to someone. This is probably going to be a drip for me. If I could get... Oh, man, I'm just loving this collection. This collection is sick, honestly. And again, guys, let me know in that comment section below. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you guys think, because this is... This is a drip. This is a nice low-key drip. I think this is sick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. It's a cardigan. Kind of looks like the Adidas situation that I was talking about before. Um, it's probably going to be Skip. I'm not a huge fan of this one. Not going to lie. It's not for me. Even in the black with the pink strip down the sides. Eh, like the fit's nice. But as something that I would wear. Nah. I think the cardigan's going to be a Skip for me. Yeah. 
Uh, for some people, I could see it working for a couple of my friends. A couple of friends could probably wear this, but... Yeah, nah. Just, yeah, skip. Hmm. This is probably going to be a flip for me, honestly. Um, it works very well with the collection. Very much the collection is centered around like 80s punk. Um, the front of the shirt, I like it that it's got the same as the, um, the hoodie. The hoodie that has it stopping at the waist but continuing down on the back. I think that's a cool idea. I like that it's got Palm Angels written on the collar with the Montclair logo on the left breast. Um, but yeah, I think it's a flip. Yeah, I think this shirt's a flip for me. I don't think I'd um, buy this to wear this, to be honest. I'd probably buy it and sell it off to a friend. Yeah. Flip. Uh, it's the track pants for the um, cardigan that I was looking at, that we were all looking at before. Uh, nah, it's a skip. I can see it working for a lot of my friends. I can see a lot of my friends wearing the full track suit outfit, but uh, that's enough for me. That is a skip. It doesn't really work with the collection, to be honest. I don't think it's very punk orientated. Maybe I wasn't born in the 80s. Maybe in the 80s they wore tracksuits. But from my envisionment of the 80s punk, I don't see them wearing tracksuits. So it's probably going to be a skip, unfortunately. Yeah, skip on both the... comes in two colours, purple and black. Of dark purple and black. But nah, either is just a skip for me, unfortunately. No, nah, not for me. Oh my god, guys. Oh! This, probably second favourite item so far. I might change it to third. Second favourite item. Damn. They've got a, um, it's called the Sid. Referencing a lot of the punk kind of movement with the look, with the fit, the colour, the red Palm Angel spray paint on the back of it. Ooh, that's what's really selling me right now. Because the black is a really nice black and it's really glossy. But then you got the red coming out on the back. And it's just, ooh, really, really nice. I honestly really like this one. This is a big drip for me as well. Yeah, drip. This is really, really nice. Probably my second favorite piece. Unless there's another piece coming up that may change it. This is probably my second favorite piece. If I could get two pieces from this collection, it'd be the bomber and it'd be this raincoat or rain down jacket, whatever you want to call it. This is really nice. Big drip. Big drip. Ooh. Another accessory. Got the side bag. Uh, or the you know cross body bag, whatever you want to call them. Um, it's a canvas. Cool. Not really for me though. I'm going to say it's a skip. I, unfortunately, I'm going to skip out on this one because I... I wouldn't wear many of the um, cross body bags or, or whatever they're called or whatever you want to call them. I wouldn't wear too many of them. And if I was to wear some of them, I would only wear probably all black ones. Just to hide, not have it so flashy, so, you know, in your face on the outfit. You know, I like my outfits kind of neutral and then having maybe one or two pieces that are super flashy. This is a bit too flashy for me. It's, yeah, not really for me. I prefer the... Um, the travel bag they had over the yeah the crossbody bag it's yeah this is this is a skip for me. Oh, this is uh this is probably my third favorite piece. Yeah, I thought this was gonna dethrone the weather jacket at number two, but this is probably number three. This is really sick. Not as good as the bomber. Bomber's still number one, but this it's called the buzz. It's um it's a down jacket missing the sleeves, so it's more like a vest obviously. Um. It's got the Montclair logo on the back, and then to really reference the punk reference, uh, the punk era that they're you know trying to showcase, it's got the Palm Angels graffiti on the back of it. I think it's really sick. I really like this piece. This is probably be my third favorite piece. If I could get the top three pieces that I've mentioned today, oh, I'd be set. It'd be perfect. Yeah, I yeah I really like um this piece as well. This is a drip for me. Drip. Uh... Another accessory, it's the uh, pouch, they call it, which I'm assuming it's going to be like a wallet type of thing, you know? Um, yeah, no, it's probably going to be another skip for me. I'm not a huge fan of these multicolored accessories that they're doing. Honestly, from this collection, it's probably going to be a skip, unfortunately. Yeah, not a big fan of this one, guys. Mm, I really like this. This probably be my fourth favorite piece. Fourth would be this, the Klaus, as they're calling it. It's a weathered down jacket, not as puffy as the other ones. 
It's probably more centered around like a rain jacket or, or a windbreaker, less so than the actual puffer jackets. Um, really like the hood on this one. The hood really sells it for me. It's got the collar and then it's got the hood. That really sells it for me. The colors are really nice. I really like this multicolored, you know, punk skater kind of vibes they're giving off with all these like photos all over it. I think that's really Palm Angels. I really like this. This is really, really nice. I probably put this as number four and then the Puffer Jacker version is number five on my like five favorite pieces from this collection. I might have to do a top five <laughs> of the pieces, but um, yeah, nah, this is really nice. This is really, really nice. I'd definitely go for this. Yeah. Um, awesome piece. Big drip on this one. I don't like polo shirts. This is going to be an instant skip. <laughs> I, know, I know that's so bad. I know that's so bad, but I just don't like polo shirts. They just... Uh, reminds me of like... Prim I think primary school is like stunted polo shirts for the rest of my life. Because I remember back at primary school, we had like sports polo shirts and they were just like the most hideous things and same in high school as well they made us have polo shirts they are hideous seriously i prefer a tee like this over a polo shirt any day honestly um the design's kind of cool i like the white zip i like the collar i like the little logo on the side i like the text on the back but it's just a polo shirt and i do not like polo shirts you can't redeem it i'm sorry it's gonna be a skip um so we got the crew neck Finally got a crew neck. That's awesome. I didn't think we were actually going to get one in the collection. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, this is. I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Okay, so it's got stripes down it. I'm a bit hit or miss on stripes because stripes could look really good or they could look really prisoner. And I know that's a really weird way of putting it, but that's how I'm feeling about this one right now. The stripes are too small and too close together that it makes it look like a prisoner's jumpsuit and like i'm probably like stereotyping here prisoners probably don't have any stripes on their uniforms at all but like this looks like some real like psych ward kind of stuff guys like this is and the fit on it kind of just like forwards my thinking on it looking like it's from a psych ward um yeah no, i like the graphic on the front but the yeah the maybe it's the color but the color the fit the look too psych ward for me, guys. I don't want to walk out of the house looking like I'm about to go to, like, a mental ward because I'm... But, yeah. Uh, that's skip. That's skip for me, guys. Let me... Do you guys like it? Let me know in the comments. Do you guys like this? I... It looks like some psych ward stuff for me, man. I can't do it. I can't do this one. This is a nope for me. <laughs> Got a card holder. Big fan of card holders. I like card holders. The basic idea of having a card holder is a lot nicer than having a wallet. Um... Wallets have become less and less useful these days as more and more things become um, tap to pay. Obviously, you don't need cash too often these days, um, but some people still like having cash because it allows them to regulate money. I'm not going to go into that crap today, but the card holder for your cards. Um, it's kind of cool. I'd probably flip this one. I'm a little bit more generous about this one. I know I haven't been too fond of the pieces in the past that have had a lot of color on them. I'd probably flip it. I'd buy it and then probably sell it off to a mate if I ever didn't want to use it. But yeah, no, nah, um, it's definitely under skip. You got a little, you got it up on me, uh, Montclair and um, Palm Angels. I do like card holders, so you're gonna, you, I'm gonna give you a nice little flip on that one. <laughs> so I'm not usually a huge button-up fan, but this is a sick concept. I would love to wear this over the top of like a white shirt. Um, yeah, no, I'd like to wear this over the top of a white shirt or over the top of a black shirt. Uh, the colors are pretty kooky, pretty crazy. Um, I like the design. It was used on the jackets. The jackets personally look better with the design, but the button-up shirt still has its redeeming qualities. I would probably flip this one. I'd maybe buy it, wear it once, sell it to a mate, but I wouldn't wear it as a regular rotation thing. It wouldn't be a drip for me, but yeah, it's a cool design. I really like this one. They've done a really good job on this button-up shirt, actually. Okay, these are super hard. I really like this. This is a sick idea. Okay, so they um, they have the fit of what looks like regular jeans. The material doesn't look like regular jeans, though. It looks a little bit more... How would I put it? Glossy. Um, something like that. The colour, chameleon, if that is a colour that I can say. Kind of like a, you know, like a... It changes in light levels. It looks like it anyway from the photos. I don't know if it actually does, but it's a cool looking colorway. Um, 
what I really love about it is where, you know, with like jeans and stuff like that, they have a tag on the back, usually on above the right butt cheek that has like the brand's um, logo. You'll see it on a lot of like Levi's, a lot of like Ralph Lauren jeans, a lot of stuff like that. This one has the Hello My Name Is. I think that's sick. I absolutely love this idea of this tag. I think this tag should be on more items, but I've, it's probably been patented by e either one of the brands. I love that idea. That is a sick idea. I don't know who thought of it first. I don't know if these guys were the ones that thought of it first, but that's a sick idea. That really sells me on the pants. No wonder they're already sold out on the website. I love it. I think it's sick. I Yeah, I big drip on this one. This one's a sick idea. This is probably the first... I think this is the first pair of pants out of the whole collection I actually like. But this is cool. I would wear these. This is a drip. Woo! This one's called Billy. It's, um... Wow. It's one of those down jackets that comes all the way down to your knees. That's hard. I really like the logo. It's the... They're doing it to me with that logo. With the Montclair logo with the Palm Angels over the top of it. Oh, such a hard decision to make. I would probably drift it. I don't... I've never owned one. I've never owned a down jacket that goes all the way down to your knees. But... This one's super hard. I love this logo. This is crazy. Um, and the black and purple. The color's really nice. Yeah, jeez. That's probably a drip for me. I really like this. I... This, they're killing me with that design logo. They really kill. I wish more brands did this where they, when they do a collab, the brands and the logos, they design a new logo or a new idea, putting the brands together. I think that's a really cool idea. And I really love what they've done with this one here. It's like, oh, perfect. Oh, this is probably like one of my favorite pieces out of the whole collection. Honestly, I, oh geez. I don't even know, man. Like, this is crazy. I'm really loving this logo and they've done it on a, a sweatshirt, a hooded sweatshirt or hoodie. Like, oh my God, I really love this design. This is crazy. Um, it's going to be a drip. It's obviously a drip. Um, I'm just wondering where I would place it in my top five. Like, geez, there's been so many items in this collection. Jesus. Oh my. Um, love it. Absolutely love it. Um, what do we have? We had Bombers. Mmm. Bomber's still number one. Hood, hooded sweatshirt's probably number two. I don't know. I'm going to have to do a top five video, guys. I'm going to have to do a top five out of this collection because this is insane. This is a crazy collection. Wow. Um, yeah, big drip on the hoodie, though. The hooded sweatshirt with this logo? Mmm. Yum. But that's it, guys. That's the whole collection. I thought we'd never get through it, honestly. I thought there was just going to be piece after piece after piece after piece. But it eventually ended. We got to the end of it. That's all we got. That's the last piece of the collection. Um, I'm a huge fan of this collection. God, I wish I just had absolute racks on racks because then I'd be buying it, you know. Lil Pump, <laughs> hook me up with them racks because I need them to buy this collection. Well, not the whole collection, but a lot of it because there's a lot of crazy stuff in here that I really, really like. And it's probably going to go pretty unnoticed by a lot of people. So I'm hoping this video brings attention to it. I hope you all like actually get to experience it, get to look at it. Um, this is the second episode of Drip, Flip or Skip I've had in a row. So I'm sorry for getting a little bit tired of Drip, Flip or Skip by now. But I had to do it to them. I had to do it to this collection. I know it's a bit overdue. I'm sorry that I had to <laughs> do my exams and stuff. I hope that I was able to give you a good idea of what I was interested from the collection. But, as always, I would love to hear what you guys think of the collection itself. Let me know in the YouTube comment section below or in the Facebook comment section if you're watching from Facebook. Let me know either way. Um, absolutely love this collection. This collection, awesome. I wish I could own most of it, but a lot of it's selling really quickly and I just... Just don't have that much money. <laughs> I just don't have those big dollars to buy a lot of the collection. Um, yeah, no, but seriously. Woo! Awesome collection, Palm, A Palm Angels and Montclair. <laughs> Love you guys. Awesome. Thank you all for tuning in, though. I know this is probably a very long episode, and if you've watched it till the end, you're an absolute gem. Uh, until next time, guys, I might do a top five video. I should probably do a drip, flip, or skip on the Harry Potter clothing that came out with the Vans, but... We're going to have to wait, because if I do another drip, flip, or skip, some people that are watching are probably going to go crazy. So I'll have to do maybe a top five or something else, or a different variation of video to please the fans, please you guys. So uh, until next time, though, I'll catch you later.